Rawr. Hey guys, I am dressed up as a lion. Well, here's my stuffy mouse right here. Hi! Let's tell you a story about The Lion Inside by Rachel Bright and Jim Field. In a dry, dusty place where the sand speckled gold stood a mighty flat rock, all craggy and old. And under that rock, in a tiny little house, lived the littlest, quietest, meekest brown mouse. He was so tiny, it was so incredibly small, that nobody noticed him ever at all. He got trod on and saddled and missed out for stuff. He gnawed and forgot him. Ouch! Yes, mouse life was tough. Meanwhile, far above, on top of the rock, times were quite different. It was Lion O'Clock. This huge, toothsome creature made sure everyone saw how important he was by how loud he could. <laughs> he was head of the pack. He was shouty and tough. He loved showing the crowd he was made of strong stuff. Yes, all were impressed by this mighty king cat. If only, thought Mouse, I could be more like that. Then, late one dark night, in his mini mouse bed, the cleverest thought popped out of his head. He jumped from the covers and held up a paw. Thank you, he said. Thought the mouse. I must find a house. I will learn how to walk and I will learn it now. But, oh my gosh, there is only one beast who can sit in this thing, but might make him a beast. It was time to be strong, take a chance. After all, Forever was such a long time to feel small. So he made himself brave, and he fought like a winner. He set up for the top, hoping not to be dinner. He felt the scariest thing he could do. But if you want things to change, you first have to change you. The further he climbed, the closer he got to the slumbering lion reclining on top. When at last he stood on his tippity toes, he found himself nose to nose. A silence fitly fell at twinkling pain. But the lion opened his eyes and puffed out his mane. Time slowed right down. Why, it felt like a week. But he opened his mouth and let out an... Eek! The lion was shaken. His paws all a fumble. He was backing away with a scrambling tumble. Don't hurt me, he whimpered. Oh, try to be nice. Oh my goodness, this lion was frightened of mice. Don't worry, the mouse peeped. I'm a friend of your foul. Let's run this together. You're our friend, don't you know? 
That was a magical moment for sure, when Mouse didn't feel at all small anymore. He had found his true voice and learned how to speak up, and for that you don't need to roar or to shout. And from that day and always, the two were a pair. They both liked that rock better. Now that rock was to share. The mouse, while still little, felt big in his head. And lion, he still roared, but with laughter instead. Ha! 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 Yes, that day they both learned that no matter your size, we all have a mouse and a lion inside. The end. I hope you like the story. And give me applause, please. <laughs>